chicken blanquette with dauphinoise and veg. I like chicken. You know. Tray bomb. I like chicken. I heard you the first time. If Chris pulls it out of the bag with, with, with red hot French cuisine, then he could definitely come second. Mmm, cocky. Blanquette, obviously, is a very traditional French chicken stew, renowned in France. You go to any sort of restaurant, bar, it's always on the menu. Oh la la! Look at my big lard on. Sacre bleu! Look at the quality of the fat on there. That's going to give some serious flavour. He leaves the lard ons to render while he gets to work on his veg and reminisces about his time in France. Spent my honeymoon there on the, uh, the Canal de Midi. Ah, romantique! The best thing about it was, I was able to fish. Oh, maybe not. £32 for mirror cart. Absolutely stunning. Like a beast. Fantastic. The best of it about the whole trip was the fishing. But don't tell the wife. Well, the cat's out the bag now, isn't it? As they say in France, that smells magnifique. P pardon? Are you trying to say magnifique? Magnifique. Close enough. He adds the fried lardons to his veg and sets aside while he preps his chicken. I'm going to French trim it so it's obviously going to show the bone, which is a lovely touch. Certainly pulling out all the stops. He browns off the chicken skin in the bacon fat before adding to the pot and covering with a mixture of chicken stock and white wine. Next, the dauphinoise. I know what dauphinoise is. It's those sliced potatoes, isn't it, with the cream? It is, clever boy. But Chris has his own special twist. So we're adding the um, celeriac to the dauphinoise, which takes it to a different level. He layers the sliced celeriac with potato, garlic-infused cream and Gruyere cheese before roasting. It's the final night in and around Basingstoke. Cheers all. Thank Cheers you. all. Where competitive foodie Chris is hoping his rustic French fare, combined with a 90s dress code, will bag him the grand. Great mood tonight. Everyone's really up for it. They certainly are. Are we, are we, are we all giving our attempt of twerking? Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty sure that's Gangnam. Now that's more like it. <laughs> Twerky blurky, mate. All right, that's enough of that. Back in the kitchen, and it's on to the main. Chris is rustling up a sauce from the chicken juices, adding egg yolks and cream. Cream and yolk gives it a buttery finish to the end. Lovely. You don't say. Sauce done, he drizzles over the chicken and potatoes, and it's good to go. Smashed it with a salsa. I'm going to blow the minds of the main now. He's certainly very sure of himself. There it is, chicken blanquette with dauphinoise and veg. I hope you enjoy, which I know you will. Bon appétit. Oh. Yeah, I'm loving it. The flavours, the presentation. This is amazing. Thank you. He's a contender. OK, right. This is my competition. I'll give it to him. He's done really well tonight. I loved the dauphinoise potatoes, lovely. With the main course a hit, talk turns to first impressions. Adam, when I first met you, I thought, oh, you're a handsome guy. And now I think you're handsome and a good guy, like genuinely a good guy, like a nice, friendly person, so. And this is the reason why I think Nicole is the smartest person on this table. She's very observant. Either that or a terrifically good liar. Right, now to his lordship. <laughs> Mark. Mark, Mark, where do I start? The dinner party that I hosted, I felt like I was hosting it with Mark. Mark and I could have been married. Did I ruin your night, babe? No, you didn't ruin my night at all. Black tie, to me, is what Adam was wearing. I thought that you, actually, out of anyone, would have known what black tie was. And yeah. if, you, if you had turned up to my house to take me to Ascot wearing that, I would have sent you home and um, asked you to get changed. I know what you mean. Uh, it wasn't personal. It wasn't personal. I don't wear ties. She's right to pull me up on it. Gonna have a black tie, so I should have had a tie. I didn't have a tie. Still looked hot, though. Modest as ever. When I threw away the water that mm -hmm. you cared so passionately about, mm -hmm. did that not irritate you? Shouldn't have done that. I'll never forgive her for chucking out my water. Never forgive her for that. We're gonna clear some plates away, and we're gonna have some serious fun. If everyone's up for it, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yay. Let's go, Chris. Yes. <laughs> Guys, as you know, it's a 90s themed evening, so I want a lip sync battle from all of you. First up, Nicole versus Adam. She came from Greece, she had 
Yes, I'm not sure Nicole's the biggest pulp fan. It was fun. You know, we got to move about. I actually noticed Chris was barely like looking at me, so I don't think it was a fair thing because he was literally looking at him the whole time. Well, he knows star quality when he sees it. Next up, we have Izzy and Mark. Izzy, you're not even trying. Oh, too far the other way. I struggled a little bit because I didn't really know the song, but I did try my best. Quite a tough track because there's lots of little bits in between, but uh, I'm a rock star. I rocked it. What else can I do? I think you've done enough. Chris, why don't you show us how it's done? Get on that floor. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, this will be a masterclass. Oh, he's missed the start. And the crowd's going wild. I don't know what it was at the end he was doing. <laughs> oh, don't hurt yourself, fella. That whole performance was a PowerPoint presentation <laughs> with animation. Well, I really think, obviously, the energy from all the guys, it really pulled everyone back together.